This ad is brought to you by Read More Comics, where you can find comic books, graphic novels, and more. You know, I don't think we give the male characters in LOP much credit. I mean, the stallions and colts. Let's give them a do, shall we? What is up guys, me again. Today we're going to count down the top 10 Mono Pony Stallions and Colts. Or specifically their male characters. And by Stallions and Colts I mean I won't be including Spike or Discord on this list because well, they're not Stallions and Colts. Not to sound species or anything, but still. But anyway, let's get down to the list, shall we? Number 10, Brain Burn. Brain Burn is a member of the Apple family. He's a nice fella. He's... Well, he's honest, grounded, and kind of like Applejack. Well, male version-wise, actually. But, he can be funny when he wants to be, especially when greeting new guests. And, he's a pretty heck of a good Taurus. And, yeah, he's a nice guy with a pretty good design, too. And, well, much like his family, he's a Southern Apple all through and through. And now, let's get to number 9, shall we? Number 9, Sunburst. Well, at first glance, some people didn't really, really care for Sunburst, considering he never wrote the Starlight... Me, I think it was too overworked with his studies. He wasn't able to send her a letter. That's my theory, anyway. Anyway, he's a generally nice guy who does make some mistakes here and there. He could be almost as smart as Twilight. Almost. And he definitely knows how to ride that goatee and that cape he's wearing. It's like he's too, trying too hard to be a Star Swirl, but regardless, he's a generally nice fella. Anyway, on to the next number. Number 8, Big Mac. Or Big Macintosh. Whatevs. He's a really nice member of the Apple family. He's a hard worker like the rest of his apples. He can be stubborn when he wants to. And he doesn't talk that much. More of a yep or nope here or there. And he's also got a great girlfriend. Only took him about a few seasons, but he got himself a girlfriend. And, and he can talk so he wants to to speak his mind. But most of the time, he doesn't. But yep, Big Mac is a general nice character. On the next number. Number seven, Quill Pants. <laughs> Let me tell you, I love this guy. He's like a typical fanboy we probably meet in all comic conventions that we go to. And, well, he can be funny when he wants to. And Pat Oswalt played him beautifully. Yeah, I like both his appearances. One in season six and the other in the current season in season nine. And he got himself a girlfriend and possible stepdaughter. And, yeah, I approve of Quill Pants being a stepparent. On to the next number. Number 6, Sandbar. Sandbar is practically the leader of the Young Six. And, yeah, I'll be lying if he's not my favorite of the bunch. But he is my favorite. Yep, he's a good stallion with a good heart. He may be young, but, yeah, he could be a pretty good guy. But, for some reason, he has a thing for yaks. Don't ask me why, but, yeah. But, hey, I don't want to judge. I like who I want, pal. Next number. Number 5, Shiny Armor. Shiny Armor is Twilight's BBBFF. Best big brother friend forever. And yes, he's kind of like his sister, always being a goofball whenever he wants to be. Kind of runs a family. And he also got an adorable little daughter named Fleary Heart. Aww. And of course, he has a loving wife and Cadence, and pretty good guy in the family. And well, yes, his first appearance didn't exactly leave a big impact on most fans, but he's still a great guy. And, and, yep, he can sometimes be a hero when he wants to be. Remember when he did the Christmas and the candle wedding? Who oh boy. Yeah, he's trying to... He's trying to have help with, help with Kate at the toilet, but... Yeah, he's doing a good job. Next number. Number four. King Sombra. I'm not gonna lie. King Sombra is my favorite villain in this show. His personality, his look, everything. And, well, yes, his first appearance didn't leave a big impact with most fans. And his second appearance... Uh... Also, I have mixed feelings for, but me personally, I really do like King Samra. I mean, this guy looks awesome and pretty much metal. 
and he found a pretty good comic of his origin in the My Little Pony Feature Magic arc. And, yep, I would definitely go back to read that too. And now, on to the next number. Number 3, Cheese Sandwich. Where not Yang Fei is voicing this character, a male version of Pinkie Pie, I approve. And I also ship him with Pinkie. But yeah, anyway, Cheese is a hilariously awesome character, and I enjoyed him. His appearances in My Little Pony, one in back in season four and one in season nine right now. A weird I even stated that this is probably one of his favorite roles. And I mean, Cheese is hilarious. And when he plays off with Pinky, ho oh, ho, look out. It's about to be party on, baby. Next number. Number two, Soren. Soren is probably my favorite Wonderbolt in the Wonderbolts. I mean, the guy's a, the guy's has a good heart, he has a love for pies, and he gets shipped with Rainbow Dash a lot. And I approve the ship too. Soren is also kind of funny. And he loyal to his friends and fellow Wonderbolts. And he even could stand up for what's right. Even though he made a few fan calls himself. But let's be honest here, he didn't make as bad as calls as Spitfire. He just, he's a generally nice guy is all. Anyway, on to the next number. But before that, the Audible Mentions. Number one, Flash Century. I know there are people who hate this guy for many, many reasons, but me personally, I think he's like the bubble fed of the franchise. And, yep, I'm bold to say it, he's the bubble fed of the franchise. He doesn't say much, makes a few cameras here and there, uh, but still, yeah, I've not praised this guy before. And while I still recommend you read the fanfic about him by Banshee, link for the description below. Anyway, yes, I still like this guy regardless. And I definitely still trip in the twilight with this day. I don't care what the haters say. Anyway, yep, Flash Century is multiple reasons why I like him. And again, Banshee is one of the reasons. Just check out his fanfic, it's really awesome. Anyway, that's my list. And now, I hear from you guys. Who's your favorite styling from LP? Let me know in the comment section below. And that's all for today. See you all next time. Farewell friends, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to check us out on Patreon, Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, FanFiction.net, Rattled, and Casting Call Club.